Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to solve one numerical based on BZT emitter bias. Okay. So we will find out the Q point or operating point if BZT is biased in emitter bias configuration. We will find out the value of collector current that is IC and the VCE. Okay, so we have to find out the IC and we have to find out the VC when your BZT is biased in emitter bias configuration, right? So basically you can see here, this is this is circuit diagram of emitter bias configuration BZT, right? And, and you can see here, what happens here, you, you have used dual supply rail here that is plus 15 volt and minus 15 volt right so you can see uh, this is bzt and the base is connected we have one resistance rb and it is it goes to the ground and and you can see here your emitter is connected via re resistance and you can see here there is also one power supply negative power supply that is minus 15 volt right so your collector is current connected here rc and it goes to the positive power supply plus 15 volt, right so this is basic circuits for emitter bias now let us understand a bit about how this circuit works right how this circuit works so you can see here since uh, you can see here uh, this is emitter and you have emitter resistance so there will be there will be some voltage drop across across your emitter resistance okay if if there is a very small amount of current flow from from your collector to emitter right so there will be a voltage drop let us say for now i will show how much uh, how much is the voltage drop in the calculation let us say for now you have a voltage drop of minus 1 volt across this emitter resistance right so minus 1 volt here and you have your base is connected to the 0 volt shorted to the ground that means it is connected to the 0 volt so you if you want to find out the base to emitter voltage that means VBE equals to 0 volt minus 1 volt it is remain it is remain minus 1 volt that means your base is at higher potential than your emitter right so what will happen here right your your transistor this bgt will start conducting and there is a flow current flow from your collector to emitter so for this you have to find out the ic and vc and you have beta here that is 100 so let us do some math here right let us find the value of ic which is equivalent to ie so uh, your i is given by minus vee -E minus vbe divide by re emitter resistance this and rb divided by beta dc right and if you put all this value that is minus minus 15 volt minus 0.7 volt r equals to 10k plus 47k divided by 100 you will get 1.37 milliampere and now you have r e you can find the value of vc right you can find the value of vc so what is vc if you apply the KVL in this loop, in this loop, you apply the KVL in this loop. So, voltage across this collector is given by VC. VC equals to VCC, this voltage minus ICRC. Okay, so a 15 volt minus 1.37 milliampere into 4.7 K, you will get 8.56 volt, which is VC. And now you can easily find the value of VEE, -E, VE. -E, so V is given by V E minus I E R E. So minus 15 volt plus 1.37 milliampere into 10 K. This R E value you will get V V 
V equals to minus 1.3 volts. So let us finally find the value of VC which is given by minus V. So 8.56 minus minus 1.3 volt you have you have 9.83 volt which is dropping across which is dropping across your collector to emitter right so your vce is given by 9.83 volt now have you have your value of vce and you have your value of ic you can plot your dc operating point and you can find out dc operating plot and you can find out your q point okay so hope you have understood how this circuit works how emitter wire circuit works and how you can find the q point or uh, ic versus vc value okay and you can plot your own plot okay if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video